So to start off with, we're going to go to the Network Strings pull down and click on the Knuckle tool. We are prompted to either left click close to a knuckle that we're editing or enter to create a brand new one. We don't have one to edit, so we're going to press enter. And just so we can see what's happening in the drawing environment, we're going to use the zoom tool and pan the drawing to the left hand side and press escape to finish. The knuckle name will be as follows. Once you've done that, you've got a couple of options to choose which road string this knuckle will be associated to. So we can either click on the pull down and pick existing road or pick it from the drawing. So we're just simply going to use the uh, pull down here and pick existing road. The match to code is where our alignment geometry will be positioned on our road string. So ETW is being offered as a default and we'll leave it as that. Underneath we can describe the alignment geometry for our knuckle. So similarly to the curb returns and the cul-de-sacs, we can have some predefined shapes and apply those. In this instance, we're actually going to use our own alignment. So click on the use alignment option. Where it says alignment name, we're going to click on the pull down and choose the following alignment from the list. We're going to click on Create Update Alignment. This is just so that the Knuckle tool registers that it has to use the alignment that we have created. As we do this, the string creation will then become available. We're going to select the template that we looked at earlier, which is called Existing Road Bay. The section spacing will be every two and a half feet. So Typically, this would be a reasonable value. If we have some very small radius values around the top part of our alignment, then we may need to add our own additional sampling in. We're going to leave this as two and a half. Underneath, and this is where the hover graphics will help, we have three different widening options. When we widen, typically what we may want to do is to leave the ETW code in its current position and then force the geometry to then go around and follow our new alignment. Now we can't have two ETW codes both on the left hand side. There'll be a new code called NUC created for us leaving the ETW where it is. We have two other options which we're not going to be using but move the match code will allow us to simply grab the ETW code and position it on top of the alignment and none will mean that essentially the knuckle will tie in at the start and at the end but no changes will be made to the road string so we'll have no trimming of the road string as you can see there so typically keeping the match code and adding a new code would be the option that we want. Underneath we have the option to calculate the design profile. So this works in similar fashion to the cul-de-sac where we ask the software to automatically calculate some of the levels for us at the start and at the end of the string. At the moment we're proposing to have the software automate some of those levels for the first 10 feet which is quite a small number. This alignment is about 130 feet long so what we may decide is well for the first 50 feet we'll have the software automatically calculate the elevations every two and a half feet and the same goes from the end 50 feet. This means that the projected slope from the center line to our ETW code will be projected onto the knuckle design. What we're going to do is reverse that slope when it strikes the ETW code. So this is where reverse slope is being checked on. In a minute we'll try unchecking reverse slope to see the consequences of not having that slope reversed. We'll look at fit vertical curves when we open up the vertical design. For the time being click on create update string. As we do this you'll see the line work and the model are both being updated to suit. Go ahead and uncheck reverse slope and click on create update string again. You can see that the slope from our sent line to our left ETW code is being maintained and pushed through and giving us that slope to our knuckle. We're going to leave reverse slope checked on and click on create update string. Once we've done this we're going to click on the show VGE on close and then click on close.